It's a place these children have only ever sung about, but still call it their homeland. These are some of nearly 2.3 million Palestinian refugees who live in Jordan. The Palestinian in Jordan integrated very well, thanks to our relations and relatives. We benefited greatly from the services that the Jordanian government offered, especially education. Sally Samara used to teach at schools at the al Baqa refugee camp outside Amman and says things have changed drastically in the past year. We try to give our children the highest education, but now it's the opposite. You can only get education if your father has the money. Thousands of Palestinian families live in refugee camps like this one in Jordan. They've been here for decades and rely on aid from the international community for their daily needs. And when relief agencies like UNRWA are strapped for cash, so are they. And that's exactly what's happened. In 2018, the UN's Relief Agency for Palestinian Refugees had its funding from its biggest donor, the United States, cut by $200 million. The impact was keenly felt by people living here in Al-Baqa. Um Ahmed is a widower who relies on aid to support herself and her five children. If it wasn't for the agencies, I wouldn't be able to make it. How can I support my children? I don't work. I cannot help them with their education. Where can I buy them clothes or spend on them? Education is important for the children. If they don't get an education, they'll lose their future. The future for children like these. But UNRWA says despite its financial shortfall, it'll continue to do its best. In Jordan, we have 123,000 children in our schools. As an agency, we have over 500,000 children. They have a right to go to school, and we have a duty to continue with the services as long as we have the mandates. For UNRWA, the year ahead looks tough. But countries like Jordan and Turkey are now leading efforts to get cash from donor nations. But regardless of what happens next, for these children, their homeland remains strong in their hearts and their songs. Rahul Radhakrishnan, TRT World, Al Baqa refugee camp in Jordan.